blending and thickening agent also found in foods humans consume, and calcium for bone strength. The main ingredients, the fish meal flours and oils, are piped from silos into big tanks and mixed with hot water. They add the smaller premix and blend everything together to produce a thick slurry. They spray the slurry onto the surface of a series of rolling heated drums. As it flows over these drums, the slurry cooks and dries into a thin film that's like a paper sheet. As the sheet rolls off, a long rotating blade chops it up to produce big flakes. They're pretty chunky at this point and will need to be broken up into bite-sized versions. Next, they fall down a chute and into a plastic bag. A worker transfers them by the bag full to the next conveyor. The various colors represent the different formulations. The green are veggie flakes, while the red are protein-based. They all head into a spiraling device known as the tumbler. It spins to toss the flakes around. This mixes and breaks them into smaller flakes. After several minutes in the tumbler, the flakes fall onto a series of screens to grade them by size, small, medium and large. They land in separate bins, now mixed and sorted by size. Meanwhile, the production of fish food sticks is underway. Machinery presses a food mash through the small holes of an extruder plate to create spaghetti-like strings. As the strings exit, rotating knives cut them into sticks. The sticks dry and solidify. A worker routinely examines them for size and form. The next worker wheels a hopper full of flakes above a chute and removes the trap door. The mix falls down one floor onto the packaging line. At the same time, a column of empty cans heads towards the flakes. The fish food flakes fall through special openings that funnel them into the cans. Machinery cuts out aluminum foil caps and slaps them on the tops of the containers.